Hey, little spark. I was hoping you'd call. How did you enjoy my funeral? It was so sad, Grandad. I cried. I really miss you. I miss you all the time, darling, but I'm still here. You're still there. We can still talk. But, but it's not the same as hugging you, Gramps, and you look a bit odd, all young and sprightly. I can look old and decrepit again if you want me to, love. No, no, don't do that. You know I don't want that. <laughs> Sorry, Eve. I know my death is hard on you, but I'm trying to make it easier for you, you know? Lift your spirits. I know. Well, what did you think of the funeral? Nice turnout, I thought. Um, I like the eulogy, the parts where they describe my younger life. Uh, not so much the parts where they describe the horrible fatal cancer. Did you know they did a simultaneous service in the NASA office in America? They were more upbeat, talking about all the great work I'd done and all the great work I would still do for them. Yeah, I saw the video. You always did like mindless crawling flattery, you old goat. That's very perceptive of you. You're an incredible genius of massive proportions. I can see that you're so clever, you're immune to such things as flattery. If you put your mind to it, you will surely take over the world. You're the brightest little spark ever born. <laughs> so how's life as an upload then? Still enjoying the endless godlike powers? It's not so much the godlike incredible powers that I'm enjoying as the lack of crippling pain. All the muscles in my sim body respond like they did when I was your age, only better than they did because I was such a basement geek back then. Um, it's nice to just be able to get out of the chair without making that groaning noise. I'm still making the groaning noise on instinct. But I like your chair noise. Please don't stop doing the chair noise. You made it seem like you were a superhero every time you got out of your chair. <laughs> then I'll think of you every time I do it, little spark. Tell me more. Oh, what's the food like? Well, the same mostly. The way a vert brain processes taste data is in conception no different to the way your brain processes data and gives meaning and emotional significance to the data from your tongue and your nose. Though, of course, the menu is unlimited, free and non-fattening, that part's nice. Non-fattening? Well, as non-fattening as you want it to be, we mostly keep our satiation systems turned on. We find a lot of the pleasure in a meal isn't from the tasting it as you're eating it, but from the feeling full afterwards. So, let me guess. People take full feeling pills and don't bother wasting time eating? Surprisingly few, really. Uh, but you don't need to take a pill, just tweak a vert dial. Most of us keep up pretty much the routine we've had in life, to be honest. Three meals a day, get something useful or creative done, and then eight hours of sleep for dreaming at night. Dreams? You dream? But isn't everything there a dream? Well, in a sense, I guess. But the vert brain needs to sleep in order to stay sane, just like it did in the real world. That's how it evolved, so that's how we simulate it. We're still not even sure it could work any other way. And frankly, I like sleep. Mmm, sleep. I do like sleep. <laughs> Yeah, I always did, and that didn't change just because I uploaded. I still find it hard to drag myself out of bed in the morning, just as I always did, but I still do it because there are still things I want to do, real things. What, real things in a dream world? Yes! The laws of maths are no different here than they are in the real world. Request for truth still drives us, quite apart from the fact there are servers to be maintained, electricity to be generated. We're as reliant on our machines as you are on your body. We're working to improve technology for you, for me, for the living and the dead, for everyone. I guess. It just seems so... You know... You hear these stories about uploads who just tweak their organ switch. <laughs> you know, just over and over, existing for purely for stimulated pleasure. Yeah, it does happen. It's sad, but mental disease exists in your world too. Drug addicts, gambling addicts, people who think they're God. Mental disease is a fact of life in both our worlds. At least here we can be restored. Most of us have triggers that set automatically restore us from earlier backup in circumstances like that. I suppose so, but um... 
Jim says it's more like purgatory. Jim? Who's Jim? Oh, just some guy. I met him at your funeral. You like him, huh? Hope he's good enough for you. It's not like that. Well, maybe. I don't know. He is cute, though. So, who is he? You say he was at my funeral? Oh, no one important. Just some government worker. He worked on your case. He's a cop? No, not a cop. Just a civil servant. A, a paper pusher. I mean, he signed the form that cleared your name. James? James Hargreaves? You do remember him. I never met the guy, but I'd say more like started the investigation and cleared my name. And found you innocent. I think he phrased it, no legal evidence. It's just his job, Gramps. Come on. He's smart and cute and, and earns good money. And he's moral as they come. Moral? Sure. He, he's at church every weekend when he can. And that makes him moral? Granddad, don't ruin this for me. I know you're an atheist, but, but there's other ways of looking at the world. You know his opinion of uploads, right? Granddad, I love you, but do you still have a soul? I mean, I like speaking to you, and I like the idea that some part of you still lives on, but... But I'm not a person anymore. Not legally, certainly. And ethically, morally? Pastor says that we come from action, go to action. That maybe your soul is trapped in a machine, unable to become one with God. I'm happier away from God, thanks. See, you still hate God, even in your so-called heaven. Sparky, love, I know your mum's death was hard on you. She's not backed up, she's gone now. And you want some part of her to live on, so you've taken on her beliefs, but those beliefs are gonna hurt you. If you don't back up, you're gonna be just as gone as she is. It's not like that, Granddad. I don't just believe because Mummy believed. I feel it, I feel the life inside of me. I feel alive too. Anyway, Jim said that uploads extol the virtues of being an upload. It's a marketing gimmick. You seem to go on more about it now than you did when you were alive. Sorry, Sparky. It's just I love you so much and I worry something might happen to you. I worried something might happen to you and it did. Yeah, I wish I could hug you. Good like powers, yet still unable to hug. Sorry Sparky, I'm going to have to go. The launch simulation starts any minute now and it's going to require all of my attention. Give my love to your dad. dad. Still too busy for me, eh, Gramps? Sorry, I love you, little Spark. Love you too.